All right, guys, uh, this recording is going to show you how to add text to your file. On the last video, I showed you how to put the pictures in, and on the assignment, you're going to have to put in a straight text and a text on a curve. And so to do that, you're going to come over here to your toolbox, and you're going to click on T. If you do not have a toolbox, and I'm just going to ahead and write the word Hodson for now, but if for some reason this little toolbox disappears, come up here to the box that says Window, and then down to Tools, and you'll see a button that says Default. I'm going to click on Default, and when I do that, I should see my tools pop up. So here's my tool board. So if you ever lose that, that's how to get the tools back. Now, I want to type on a path. That's part of my assignment from Mr. Hudson. So I'm going to come over here to Rectangular Tool. And I'm actually going to hold down the left button until this drop-down menu pops up. And I'm going to click on Ellipse. And I want my circle to be a perfect circle. I don't want it to be an egg or an oval. So I'm going to hold down the Shift button. And then I'm going to put my click on my left button to create my circle. If it's dark like this, I'm going to come down here to my colors. There's this goofy little arrow. It's, it's bent in a 90. I'm going to click on that baby. And now it's now I have a circle. I want my circle to be about the same size as my middle circle, because that's where I want my path. And right now it's just not. So I'm going to click on the corner until my circle is just about the same size. And you'll notice that you get these cool little vertical and horizontal lines. Those are trying to line up so that your circles are actually lined up to each other, which is really cool. Illustrator has a lot of nice functions like that. So now you can see that my, my circle around here is really cool. And I'm actually going to pull it off. I don't want to get confused. So I'm going to pull this off to the side. And I don't want it to be black either. Black's going to engrave. Um, anything that's black on our, our universal lasers are going to engrave. Anything that's red and point zero zero one is going to cut. So I'm going to click on this and actually make this white, which might be a little bit confusing. But now that it's white, you're not going to be able to see it unless I do type on a path. So now I'm going to come over here to the T tool and hold it down, left click, holding down the left, left button until I see type on a path. And you get this weird little T with a squiggly line. I'm going to come over to the circle that I just created, and now I can type on that path. And I'm going to put Central Middle School. You can write whatever you want that's school appropriate on there. I don't care. Uh, but I do want you to learn how to type on a path. So now I can take this path, drag it over to my circle, and I don't want it to be that close to my shape. So I'm going to grab, go right, hover right out to the edge of my corner, and I get that cool little 90 degree arrow, which tells me now I can rotate my text. So now my text is away from the two little huskies that I made. Everything looks really nice. So at this point, I have one more step. So everything looks pretty good now. And the last piece of the puzzle is that, and I think I've told you this before, but everything that's black on the universal laser will engrave. Anything that's red will cut out with one exception. The red has to be one thousandth of an inch. So there's a couple ways to do this. I can click on each individual path like this. And I can use the gray button and literally do each individual path. But I want to do them all at once. So I'm going to choose the black arrow. I'm going to block the whole thing. And then I'm going to come up here to what's called stroke. Stroke is like how hard you hold down your pencil or marker 
So it, it's how it's how thick your line is going to be. So for us, we're going to do a thousandth of an inch, which for all of you that are not doing well in math is 0 0.001. Once I do that and click enter, you're going to notice that my red lines are really faint now. That's perfect. If they're really faint, that means you've done the right thing. So you're on to your last step. We're going to come up here to File, and we are going to Save As. And when we do Save As, I want to save this to my desktop initially. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. I want it saved as an AI file. You are going to save it as your last name. So when you do this, I want you to put Spinner. And then if your last name is Jackson, you're going to put Spinner Jackson dot AI. AI means it's an Illustrator file. You're going to save it to your desktop and click Save. If you see this box, it's fine. Click OK. So now I'm going to find it on my desktop. And let's see. And so my file that we created, spinnerjackson.ai, is up here in the right-hand corner. And I am going to go back into my Illustrator file. And I want to save it. So when we go back into my template right here, back into Classroom, you are going to have an opportunity 